Hi, hello and welcome back to my sixth campaign of Baldur's Gate 3. Currently still playing as the Blade of Avernus, Will Ravengard. It is time to continue our journey, but this episode will be a filler episode, okay? Just casual playing, finishing off uh, other side quests, additional fights, and in the next one we'll start the finale. Now, I believe the moment we enter the city, there will be a fight against mind flayers. Uh huh. From Screenshot. Free. No more. You'll be my slave. Liberators. Saviors. Pawns. And yes, I think this is the first episode without Karlak. Not counting the very first episodes when she wasn't in the party. Bring it on. There you go, Gale. Sharp as ever. Go ahead. I'm listening. Are we surprised? But was it deliberate or accidental? And she was ready for this. Okay, she's dead. Mind blast. Or not. Rip. The party is surprised, but the NPCs are not. <laughs> well, the civilians. Oh, great. Hoggy Sloan. Dashing into battle. Alright. Take that. Ventara. Chill them. Okay. Onward. I am fury. I am dead. Let's go, Lazel. Let my name be known. There, what is it? Finish the job, dude. There we go. We must discover where it is hidden before that happens. I don't have the on the scroll thingy. It doesn't require as a moonbeam. We should catch up. Left the chickens. They won't see me coming. Easy does it. There is a food shortage due to absolute raiding activity. Citizens are advised to buy food in moderation so that all may eat. Where did everyone go? Right, so where are we going next? Uh, 
I feel a lot safer now that I've seen that that thing can die, just like anything else. That's not an answer. Nortale's shelter. Refugees welcome. I'm grateful to be here. I am. But I thought we'd arrive as a family. Not like this. And now you can make a new family. Welcome. If you've need of a bunk or a bath, you'll find them upstairs. Anyway, let's get out of here. Oh, I think I'm missing this one here. For riddles. Something over there. Could come in handy. Oh, we just had a key next year. <laughs> Whoops. We all have to take care of each other. Might need to read that. You can play all you like. A word, if I may. Since the death of Gortash, the flaming fists seem as tense as cocked crossbows. It wouldn't take much to set them off. Okay. You don't have to warn me. Let's run into another fight. No, don't want to just mark. Transformation. The brain not in the elements of its own volition. The restraints on its behavior seem to have eroded. Great start. On your command. The brain. It's here. Stay away from the gate. Okay, this is a simple fight. The NPC might kill the last one. Just stay back. Yeah, he's dead. Hope the foundry would pack up. Now Gortash is done for. 
No such luck. Belching smoke and metal screeches. Keep the city peaceful, my ass. Since the death of Gortash, the flaming fist. Yeah, 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 I heard that before. Now let's uh, move over here, talk with Omelum and Blurk. Hello. It is pleasurable to see you. Thank you. Your intervention within the cult's underwater complex was a timely one. I am glad my carelessness did not cost the life of Duke Ravengard. That you also saved me was unexpected. I had no idea your expectations of me were so low. It was not a judgment on your abilities. <laughs> it was simply the result of my calculations. Nah, Given dude, the you are the only good mind player in this game. I believed my life to be of the least value in the equation, but I am grateful to have it, as is the society. Blurg and I have consulted on the matter of your reward. We first thought to ask the denizens of the Underdark for their aid in fighting the cult. Alas, our influence there remains negligible. Instead, we have selected a series of items from the society's vaults. Given my kind's involvement in creating this evil, it is only right that I do my part in helping you defeat it. Or at least, improving your odds. Thank you. Really thinks of me. I honestly don't remember what you're giving me. Stuff. I mean, it's a good scroll. That's also a good scroll. Something to eat, that's for Karnak. And I can sell that. Right. Gale. How about we change your color? tells me I have you to thank for its safe return. We know the risks when we go out into the field, but to lose my friend in such a way would have been most disheartening. <laughs> you should stick to reading books. It's much safer. I know a wizard over in Elturel who disagree. Incurable paper cuts are no laughing matter. True. <laughs> that is true. If there's any conclusion to be drawn from this, I think it's that Omeluum and I are safest back in the Underdark. Our research there must continue. We may not be able to fight on the front lines as you do, but we may yet do some good for those who call it home. We'll depart when this absolute army is defeated. I understand you are involved in the matter. Indeed, I, I hope am. our gifts will provide you with some meaningful assistance in fighting the evil Omeluum uncovered. Do let us know how you get on. You got anything to trade? Because I need to sell some shit. Don't mind buying the small pots. 
Also don't mind buying those. Vigilance is a good potion. Best, I do not interfere further with events on the surface. I will return to my research. It has been neglected long enough. All right. Best foot forward. They won't see me coming. Tempers of rise. How did you even spot me? If I'm like hidden over here. Me coming. Hmm. I know there's nothing there, but come on. Wasn't me. The vandal's been damaging property around here. You have a feeling you're under suspicion. This is an outrage. You'll walk free for now, but your stories won't land so well if you're caught again. about mineral ores. Every step counts. Honestly, I don't remember if there's anything good in here. Oh, there's a chest. Who's next? Uh, who's the best at the uh, lockpicking right now? Because Scarlet isn't here. Lazel, okay. Strength in silence. I did nothing. I won't feel a thing. Where's that letter? A book. Oh, it's upstairs, okay. You wish to consult me? Not really. But I'm actually curious to hear your thoughts about our companions. A disparate collection of vagabonds and strays. Did you have anyone particular in mind? Yeah. You and Karlak seem to be friendly. I have never known anyone so ferocious and unassailable in battle, and yet so fragile and impermanent in their very being. I often think of mortality as a curse. In time, all that I am and all that I have known and learned will be lost. In time, our cities will be dust. Kalak does not seem to have such anxieties. Perhaps because she cannot afford to. She exists in the moment, and she will burn out and be gone in a moment. <sighs> there is something very beautiful about that. Right. Let's keep going. To the tower. Because we need to do the quest for Kehair.
Let me introduce myself. I am Roland, the new ruler of Ramazith's Tower. All deals and sales made under previous ownership will be honored. I hope you enjoy this curated selection of goods for all your magical needs. <laughs> I didn't quite catch that. What did you say? <laughs> what the hell is that? Don't you recognize me? Of course. You're a valued customer. All right. Take your time. What the hell is that? So. Fifteen dimension tour. Oh, Mr. Step, I'm definitely buying those. Yeah, let's buy consumables. Maybe I'm not gonna use them. Who knows? You never know. Sure. Thank you for visiting Sorcerer's Sundries. Thanks, pal. If it is for the best. Well, let me introduce myself. I I hope you enjoy this. Gail? I didn't quite catch that. <laughs> what did you say? Okay, let's stop fooling around. Checking things out. My advice? Cobble together what you can from what's left and wait for this all to blow over. Would you mind if I finish browsing before you muscle in, please? I was here first, actually. Really? Still here? I'll have you know my elbows are much sharper than yours. Don't start a jostle you can't finish. All right, Miss Eyebrows. But I would like to browse as well. Literature department. Can I help you? Whist. These books are sensitive. What do you think of the new master of the tower? Of... Who now? Oh, Roland. I leave him alone. He leaves me alone. That's all there is to it, I'm happy to say. They're locked away here for their and our customers. This treaty is a com I'd advise tremendous it's it is said to great That's it. That's what I need. The annals of Carsus would no doubt have much to say about the But consider yourself lucky to have learned of such a book's existence, and then forget about it. The annals of Carsus are best left unread. Are you sure about that? Look at all that thing that I could do here. Advantage. 1d10. 1d10. That's a waste, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Watch. Boom. <laughs> what the... Customers like you are why I prefer the company of books. The only way to gain access to the vault is through my office. And before you ask, no. <laughs> One more thing. How can I help you? Scrolls, parchments, codices, tomes. Take a look and see what calls you. zombie looks fresh is fresh good I never know with zombies a newborn zombie gazes at you hungrily pus drooling from its slack jaw apologies I'm with a customer at the moment nobody wants to talk with me 
how much the prices have risen. Might as well be throwing my gold straight into the lava elemental. Hey so, there, Roland. I knew Laroa can amass knowledge like a dragon with its hoard, but never could I have imagined such wealth. And the tower itself has a cannon. The sheer power is mind-boggling. A magical cannon? That could come in useful. Indeed. I must still figure out its intricacies, but uh, I am close. What are you going to do with knowledge you discovered? Study and catalogue it. Laroa can barely knew his alphabet. Then share it with the realms. After all, it does little good collecting dust in an old tower. All right, I'll let you study in peace. Hmm. Hey, Leah. Heard you put that prick, Laroacan, in the ground. Good. Only sad I couldn't help. Thank you. For having Roland's back. You just can't stop saving us, can you? Nope. I once thought the best we could hope for in Baldur's Gate was a room above the blushing mermaid. Where's Cal? Now oh, there you are. Have you seen this place? It's incredible! And this is our house now. I think it goes without saying that you have a room here. Anytime. I'm half afraid to touch anything in case I break it. Which I have done. Twice. Don't bear rolling. Alright, um. Indolence breeds madness. Oh, we have Feathered Fall. Defender of the people. Mm hmm. Here comes the best part of Baldur's Gate 3 figuring out a way to jump down. game that I wasted that and of course somebody followed me as if we are above silence is golden and I'm off that's curious Now I need my uh <laughs> luck. Lovely. Why is it stealing? All right, let's see. Robe of the Weave. Plus some bonuses, spell save DC and spell attack rolls. Whenever you succeed a saving dragon spell, they regain HP plus two AC. I just changed the color of your armor, Gale. And you know what? You're gonna stick with that. This one's for you. So now you have 21 AC and this one goes away and I can change that stupid pink color on you, Lazo. There, get the new colors. Enjoy. This is the fashion show, fielder, exploration, boring episode of Baldur's Gate 3 Campaign 6. Right. Best staff in the game. 
Mintara. That's your offhand weapon from now on. Yes. Yes. Hell yeah. This way you still have lightning charges. We're not out. done yet. Ow. Well, that was lovely. Action, not reaction. Enemies are everywhere. Oh, I'm needed. Back in action. Ever onward. Above. A trap. Just as I expected. Clean up. Toning things down. Two steps at a time. Need the vault button. The trap. Watch it. This one? Vaults. Yeah. This part of the game. There can be no respite. This is hardly the time for idle banter. The annals of Carsus are here, waiting to be read. You wish to consult me? Well, isn't that handy? Thank you, magical book. What's this now? This better be good. Oh, that's not the secret door. This one is. What if? I do this. <laughs> Freedom, sweet nectar. How I missed you. Oh, my rescuer left behind a servant. I'm terribly sorry for your loss. I'm sure you're at your wit's end without your master. Oh, look at this. 
That wasn't my master. I sent in a summon. A summon? Curse this wretched head. Why did I not think of that? <laughs> Such ingenuity should be rewarded. Oh, nice. Yeah. Good tidings upon you. Wait, that's it? And he just leaves. And I have no idea what he just gave me. Sounded like money. I mean... Oh, but there are good stuff over here. Can I still swap? some food we, we're probably gonna take like one or two more long rest in this game don't take the fork no take the food well don't be stupid at least take the banana no 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 and sorting of scroll work, parchment, and tomes. This better be good. <laughs> oh, oh, I hate this part. No, not this one. The next. You should always go first. Once you enter Baldur's Gate, the city, you can collect a lot of scrolls, a lot of money, a lot of extra super stuff. And then you should go to the bank, save Minsk, get the full party, get more money, then do your thing. There for the taking. No entry to vaults. Trespassers will be disintegrated. Master Laroican. Now, I believe we need to go to Elminster, Silverhand, and Carsus. The animals must be behind his door. Although we can always use these. Onward. But the pride it's not locked, of the gate. Okay. Then it was just as I expected. Location, I think. Heading out. Uh, oh, wish, wish, because it's open. Unlike 
unlock hereby the path to the Elminster Vault. Careful. Elminster Vault. I think we seem like two more chests. Two steps at a time. I don't have car like here to throw shit. <laughs> hmm. Any other with great water. Lovely day, this. For now. King Hill. Didn't I just buy a scroll? Let's see. Yeah. Most excellent. I swear that I we are still missing stuff. Oh yeah. The necromancy of Tay. It was Astarian. The book refuses to open. For you at least. Yeah, and even with the thing. Oh wait, I need to get rid of the curse. I didn't buy anything to remove it. Indolence breeds madness. Well, keeping a rock with that minus five uh, con. Narcissus. This is fine. Wordless. Magus, be warned. It is a great paradox among our kind. No, I'm not going to read that. The annals of Carsus. 
preamble to a civilization's downfall, committed to parchment by the very hand that wrought its destruction. Mm -hmm. If the crown atop the Elder Brain was truly forged by Carsus himself, this book will confirm it. All we have to do is turn the page. Have fun. That devil Raphael was telling the truth. There's no doubt. The crown of Carsus is what's controlling the Elder Brain. And this... This is no mere journal. It contains Carsus' original plans for the crown's construction. His designs for godhood. Godhood? I know crowns are an ego boost, but that's ridiculous. Gods have ascended through far stranger means. A circle drawn on a globe, a walk in a swamp, the destruction of a magical stone. Why not with a symbol of such innate authority? The book states that the crown and nether stones were originally one construct, seemingly sundered at the moment of Carsus's downfall. If we can collect the crown setting and the three nether stones, and with the correct invocation of certain spells and gestures detailed in these notes, I think I could reforge it. To what end? To every end you can imagine, and a thousand more beyond. Just think of it. The power of the gods in mortal hands at last would be free of doctrine and dogma, confined only by the limits of our imaginations. I promise you, the gods will never grant us such a blessing, no matter how much we worship and adore them. And you think Mistral will let you do this? I don't know. Ao does not look kindly on gods meddling in mortal affairs. She may have no choice but to stand by and let events unfold. Even with the fate of the world at stake, she had little more to offer me than the means of blowing myself up at a more convenient time. She's done nothing to help us. Mistra wanted the brain obliterated because of this crown. She fears a world in which such power is beyond her control. Ready to be claimed by Carsus's successor. So... You want the crown to settle a score with Mistra? Question mark. She sent me to die. Ambition is not a sin. The question the powers that rule us is not treason. We must at least try. Why wallow in the dirt when we can reach for the stars? All right, Gail. You're a convincing man. The crown sounds promising. I'm glad you can recognize this for the opportunity it is. Nevertheless, not a step to take lightly. It's our future that I'm thinking of. Can't rely on anyone else to do it for us. For now, We've learned all we can. Whatever comes of this, we cannot allow the crown to be reforged in Raphael's image. A devil wielding the might of Carsus. It would be the end of everything. Well, you don't have to worry about uh, Raphael anymore. Oh, breaker. This weapon ignores bludgeoning resistance. When you miss an attack, yeah, that's based on strength. But it's 200 weapon. No one is using 200 weapons right now. So I'll just send to camp. Yeah, send to camp. The rest we can sell. I have found your book. Book of Ego. Book of Ego Boost. Alright, what do we have over here? Oh, 
What happens if I go to the wrong door again? It's the trap. Move with purpose. Silver. Uh huh? Unlock hereby the path to the Carsus vault. Yeah, we just did that. Honestly, I don't remember having another one. No, I don't think so. Let's get out of here. We got what we wanted. Yeah, the Necromancy in Tay, I cannot do that because it was bound to Starion. And he's dead. And I still got the item, but it's, you know, it refuses to open to me. So, there's that. Mistakes are made. Let's not go to two Roland. steps at a time. Yeah, he is also an enemy right now, but it's not in combat. Stay away. Let me just no. Summons Fresh stay behind. Orders. Why are you doing swimming video game? But what is Mintara's movement speed like? She, she's like a dwarf. I think this girl can go this far. Why did you hit Roland? Well, we're fighting our way out. A typical filler episode where we fight civilians. How are you hitting me from there? Kill the cheater. Oh boy. This isn't good. 
No, it's not. Okay. My God, my <laughs> it, it is out of sight, but they can hit me. Alright, one idiot down. So you can just walk over there and hit the lady. Might as well, you know, loot stuff. We don't need that. I thirst for combat. Stay there. Easy. Stop cheating. You will die to that next turn. Just saying. Hopefully, Roland is still our ally after this. No, he is, but who knows what's gonna happen. Let me strike. last certainly you're not getting a turn
Let's save new game. Do you have elder uh, siblings, wizard? I'm about to say something awful. Elminster? Oh, hello, my boy. No, don't mind don't me. Mind me. I'm, uh, yeah. Just enjoying a lungful of. In that case, I can just Tell skip your dialogue. What she bids you come to her holy shrine in the Stormshore Tabernacle. There is only but if you, if you will. So all it took to get Mistress' attention was to learn how to reforge an artifact that once destroyed her. It's obvious when you stop to think about it. She might punish you. I think Elminster's last message was the one carrying the punishment. And respectfully declined it? I think she's willing to negotiate. This is a conversation that's long overdue You're on bald. both sides. I owe it to her to hear her out. Come what may afterwards. All right. <laughs> We cannot allow Gale to go through with Elminster's ludicrous plan. Destroying the Absolute before we fully understand it would be madness. The mother of all magic, they say. Let us hope Mistra brings Gale good fortunes. Oh, enough waiting. I crave blood. Um, Carlac, are you still alive? Because she used warding bomb. That's why mm. I'm asking. I applaud your taste. Respite. Oh, yeah, that doesn't We have a target. Elminster's not around, so it might as well. Right now, laser picks getting half damage, but <laughs> but the other half goes to Garlic. Bound chunkly. A word, if I may. Lord Gortash's death is sad and all. But I didn't know you could write so many obituaries about one bloke. The Stormshore Tabernacle. Stormshore Tabernacle. Hey, buddy. Welcome. You have come far, I pre Of course, my child. Within limits. Behold my wares. You don't have money. Now you have. And now you don't. You're not selling remove curse scrolls? Why? I'm buying that. Also that. There she stands, just as Elminster promised. Mistra. Goddess of the Weave, mother of all magic. The old man wasn't lying. She's opened the summoning channel. 
Can't you feel it? Gail's right. The very air around the statue crackles with magic. It sets your teeth on edge. A stream of pure, undiluted weave. I only have to reach out, and it will carry me to Mistra, wherever she may be. Your goddess awaits. Hear her out, but remember that you do not owe her obedience, and you certainly do not owe her your life. Time was I'd have given my right arm for a chance to speak with Mistra again. <laughs> the left one, too. Maybe a knee. I think you're ready for this. Am I? You're right. I am a strong, capable wizard. And this is no more than a Bard casual look, reunion but, yeah. with an ex-lover. My omnipotent, omniscient You're also bald. lover I always wonder what being nervous would feel like. I hate it. Why do you care what she thinks of you? For a wizard to have the love of the goddess of magic herself. It was intoxicating. An experience beyond expression. During my time locked away in Waterdeep, I prepared a quite comprehensive speech for her on the subject of our former relationship and the manner in which it ended. Alas, recent events have rendered the majority of it moot, so I'm gonna have to improvise. Unless you have any words of wisdom to impart before I go. Well, don't give anything away, just find out what she has to say. You'd make a fine three-dragon anti-player, you know? I think it's best I keep a cool head going into this. Approach it like a particularly high-risk round of three-dragon anti. I'll let Mistress show her flight, and then I can see how strong a chance we stand of winning the gambit. I'll only be gone for a matter of moments. The Outer Plains experience time quite differently to our own. Wait for me. Please. Screenshot. Gale of Waterdeep. You look well. As do you. But I assume we're not here solely to exchange compliments. So why am I here? You discovered what lies at the heart of the Absolute. The Crown of Causes. And you disobeyed my instruction. Why? Because you had no right to ask that of me. You cast me out. Remember? You were my lover. My chosen. Yet still you know so little of me. The past cannot be undone with self-pity. Nor can the future be forged. Only with the truth will you see the way ahead. The fragment of magic you tried to return to me was not of my creation. It was the Carsite Weave. It is a corrupted, half-born magic wrought in the brief moment Carsus ascended to godhood. It hungers for power, just as he did. And it can never be sated. You unleashed something that would consume all magic in existence. And yet you thought only of preserving yourself. So that's what you're scared of. With the crown of Carsus reforged, I could take control of the Carsite Weave. Other screenshots. You need can more, no need more control the Carsite Weave than a weather vane could control a storm. That it entered your body and consumed no more than your powers was a miracle. But we will not be granted another. The only reason the orb sleeps is because I have allowed it to feed on the true weave. A temporary measure, but one that will not be enough to save us. With each day that passes, 
The Elder Brain threatens to become a new kind of god. Its worshippers, a scourge of soulless illithids. If you will not use the orb to end this abomination, then you must find a way to separate crown and host. When you've done this, you must surrender the crown of Carsus to me. A great ask indeed. You've given me much to think on. As you always did. So be it. Follow the needle of your own wisdom. We shall see how truly it leads you. Welcome back, Gail. The car site weave. I had no idea. Do you realize what this means? The orb is no stray piece of ordinary magic. It is something entirely different. The nascent form of a new divine power. Of course, I couldn't control it. I was mortal. But once I reforge the crown, the power of a god will be mine to command. The orb will answer to me. What are the chances Mistress smites you before you get the chance? Slim to none, I hope. Mistra has no right to prevent another ascending to the Pantheon. Only Ao can decide that. Let me assure you, Karsai Weave has no more inherent evil to it than a... A child in the womb, or an axe half forged on the blacksmith's anvil. It is a tool ready to be shaped by its wielder, by me. And you know me to be someone of reasonably sound moral judgment, don't you? We are usually inclined to agree on moral matters. That's good enough for me. God, it's refreshing to share the company of someone who sees things the same way I do. All we need to do is stay focused on the task at hand, defeating that elder brain. After that, you can leave the rest to me. Fresh orders. Into the shadows. The trap. This place is more dangerous than I thought. This is fine. Be careful what to trigger that thing. They're wronged. Shield of shielding. Who keeps standing in fire? Hammer of the just. Us.
Okay. Checking things out. Where else can I buy scrolls that can help me? You know what, let's just go to sleep. Or, better yet... Gail, it has been fun knowing you. Wow, so that was Mistra. Pretty spectacular But I need my stuff. girlfriend back. But I think Gail was right not to agree to do her bidding, no questions asked. I respect the gods, but they don't always understand what they're asking of us. Maybe immortality makes it hard to know what it's like to be one of us piggies. Proud of Gail, though. It takes some man to hold his own in front of the divine. No room in your party. What should I do? Hmm. <laughs> now we're talking. Right. I do not trust Mistra to do right with the crown. But I think I trust Gale even less. He must give it to her when the time comes. Or his lust for power might well consume him. Why would you say that? A trust Gale. Mistra has forsaken Gale entirely. A crushing blow. But he is strong enough to persevere, I think. Far from me to judge Gale for playing coy with Mistra. But I will not be cleaning up whatever mess she makes of him for it. You come to speak of the last time Minsk stood watch? This... Mistra has forsaken Gale entirely. A crushing blow. But he is strong enough to persevere, I think. Well, first of all, Time to say goodbye to Laser. I think Who's we can I welcome back Shadow. Aside from the a bit crowded, don't you think? Lead the way then. It's been a while. There is work to do. What do you mean level up? Don't lie to me. You're always max level. I don't even remember who you are. What you have. Oh, pure old breaker paladin, okay. Perfect. Get this shit out of me. Did you just kill the... You killed Scratch. You piece of shit. How come that out of everyone you go first? You call yourself an angel? You killed my dog, you piece of shit. Now that would be an instant uh, reward, by the way. And we are surprised. Good job, father. Don't you dare kill the other.
My turn. My victims await. Burn. I need it. Fucking killed my dog, you piece of shit. Sad. No want food. No want play. Scratch gone. Miss him. Wow. Mm. Little better. You're nice. That was awful. Onward. Am I still cursed? Nope. Defender of the people. In I paid the price. I don't have the summon anymore. Sharp as ever. Isn't much of a solo game. Nope. We've got to keep moving. I didn't do this enough when I had the chance. Oh, come on. I hope Scratch has a new ball to play with wherever he is. This is so sad. It's silly. Part of me felt like Scratch might still show up for his ball. No use. Not right now, at least. Gaining ground. Now, play nice. Oh. Close and beak to yourself, please. <laughs> Everyone assumes I killed the dog. I liked the dog. Scratch reminded me of my first displacer beast. A noble creature. With us. Be a good skeleton and fetch that ball. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <gasps> Scratch should be here with his family. <laughs> I miss my dog. <gasps> here, pup. God damn it. All right. I, I refuse to, you know, reload. This shit happened. At least we got some scenes for it. Some dialogue. And now we're all sad. Taking potentially the final long rest. Sleeping knowing that my dog just died. He won't be there in the epilogue. Right. Not right. Is this my final party? Okay, she is still walking, that's why I cannot access this bag. Defender of the people. So, warlock, a barbarian, rogue ranger, a pure sorcerer, and a pure paladin. Almost we have a pure, pure party.
Are we good enough? That's fitting. Uh, this one will be yours. Okay. For one last time, we'll change the color of you. Let's get ready for the finale. In your name. Right? Yo. I'm ready. Whatever it takes. Shadow Heart. Oh boy. Um, pretty sure we have better heavy armor for you, but we have a tiny little problem over here. Oh, that makes more sense. That's medium armor. What a mess. worse yes radiant damage you do really apply radiating orb game needs more metallic boots with special effects No, 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 we're gonna run with this. Helmet. So we could get something that's better.
Wait, 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 wait. I'm looking for this. Although you don't have channel divinity. You have all charge, it's not the same. But the plus two bonus expensive DC is better. Can't use it, but still, spell attack is plus seven now. Oh, sorry. Uh, Passive DC is uh, plus uh, 17, which is great. And this is short rest only. Oh, okay, okay. Why, yes, Edvard. Can I call you Edvard? Now let's buff up for one last time. Well, not last time, but. Mintara, extra spell slots. Shadow Heart, extra spell slots. Karlak, Bloodlust, Will, extra spell slots for now. And with that, I would like to say thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one where we're gonna start the finale. Probably two episodes. So, yeah. Yeah, because I don't want to mess around with dribbles. Everything else is the same. This I cannot do. I this, this, I won't run over there, you know? It's not worth it. So, yeah. We'll start the finale in the next one. So, thank you guys again for watching. And see you next time. Take care and have a lovely, wonderful day or night. Cheers. And I'm looking for the... Ah, this one. Feels like we're nearly at the end, one way or the other. <sighs> yeah, just me, always. <sighs> Is it hot in here? The Elder Brain is close. Be ready for anything. <laughs>